he's trying to punch me. And, <laughs> <laughs> and as soon as like the clogs and the wheels started clicking. Did you say clogs? Like the shoes? Yeah. You mean cogs? Cogs. As soon as the, as soon as the clogs. As soon as those clogs stop a clicking. <laughs> as soon as the clogs started clicking. Oh, hi, everybody. <laughs> hey. Just kidding. Peace. <laughs> uh, uh, Welcome to K-Love You Bye. K-Love You Bye. Oh, Brandon. No. It's got an itch on my th- calf. Not to be confused with a cow calf. Cow calf. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How you been, dude? You know what? I know I've seen you like a thousand times since our last episode, but. Yeah, <laughs> just so everybody else can get an idea, how you been? What I've you been, been up uh, to? I've been okay. I've been, you know, doing things. Hold on, let me. We got a new comment, so I kind of wanted to read it. Yo, hey, just so everybody's aware that's watching this, we every time we get a notification that there's a comment or a new like, so- we literally look at everything. Because this is so fucking exciting for us. I love it. Oh, man. You guys, it is coming because this, <laughs> this fucking gets Colby we, <laughs> so fucking hard. I we can just feel had, it across the room. We just had, like, the biggest, the <laughs> biggest fucking bro hug in the world because one of our videos hit 100, 000, over 100,000 100, views. First 100,000. Our first video over 100,000 views. Hopefully not the last because it's My awesome. goodness. Anyway, so somebody put... Big difference in growers and showers, no pun intended. And then someone commented, no, not when they're eight inches soft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eight inches soft. <laughs> if they're a grower Dude. and they're eight inches soft, dead. Lord help the woman that fucking goes on that fucking dick. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny, though, because it's, I mean, it's so true. If yeah. you're walking around with a dangler, I mean... Odds are it's not a grower. I mean, yeah, the ones that the ones that got me and you were born with ripped tendons. It just hangs there. You know what I mean? So when you were in your showers, did they have like so you had like the outer wall with showers? Then you had like in the center, you had a pole or two and then it had like the shower heads coming off the pole for like for. No, we didn't have strip poles and no, it wasn't a a strip pole. Air Force doesn't do that. Navy. Okay. Yeah. (laughs) No, I know what you're talking about. Like it has, like it has. It's, it's like in it's the like center a, of the a shower. It's like yeah. two poles, and they have like giant. Two and they're like they're they're like shower this heads big on around, it. and they got shower heads all the way around them. Yeah. The so dude, you're like so fa- you're facing. If I had body. a giant donger like some of those dudes, I would just be fucking like whipping my dick into that pose. Because <laughs> that would is like, hey, I'm here. Get out of the shower. <laughs> This is my time, bitch. It's like the alpha lion walking into the pride like everybody knows. Yeah. My roommate. Time to go fucking sit down. My roommate in A school, which is, uh, it's like your training after boot camp. Yeah. He told me that when he walked into the shower at boot camp, he, this is a little guy too. He was like five foot nothing. He was small. It probably had a gigantic dick because that's just how the world works, you know? Anyway, he walked into the fucking shower. (laughs) He said he tucked his his dick in between his legs and he just... (laughs) At boot camp, just randomly, just tucked his dick in, put his arms up, and said, "Would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. I'd fuck me hard." <laughs> just tucked his dick in. Was like, <laughs> Dude, I wish you were in my my fucking my division because Dude, I wish it would have been you would have been hilarious to have around. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was somebody like that when I was in basic because I would have yeah. been that guy in the corner who'd been like. Yes, and you <laughs> wouldn't even like it. <laughs> You'd be so disappointed. You would tell me I fucking. Okay, I'm going to stop because it's going to get a little weird. <laughs> Any weirder than you've actually already been? <laughs> Dude. No, it's. uh. <sighs> when you come from a small town. And then you go to basic training. You learn a lot. Like. I mean, not not just, like, basic training stuff, like how to be a part of the military and do what they tell you. You learn a lot about people. Oh, for sure. I mean, so, to me, 
my graduating high school class was like 130. And we were like the biggest grade K through 12. Yeah. That had been through our high school for years. So for like, for me, I was like, you know, I know a lot of people. Like I went to school with 135 in my, just my class, whatever. Our high school had 500 or whatever. That was a lot. And then you go to basic training and you meet people from like all over the United States. Mm Mm-hmm. And it's like, you're instantly humbled about like how much you don't know about the world, especially because you're only like 18 years old. You know, there was, there was a few like reserve guys that were like 24, you know, mid twenties, whatever. But for the most part, like everyone's 18 and they're like, I know a shit ton about Louisiana. I know a Mm. shit ton about Southern California. Me, I was like, I know a shit ton about North Iowa, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And then you get to basic and you start learning like, holy fuck. See, I had a... You didn't grow up on a lake going fishing and yeah. boating and it was wakeboarding? A little, a little different for no. me because when I, you know, by the time I... Had, you moved a lot, right? I moved a shit ton. Like, yeah. By the time I, I got to boot camp, I'd <clears> lived in <throat> Iowa, Wisconsin, Colorado, Utah, and Arizona. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. And uh, it just, so like I, 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 I mean, I obviously missed the East Coast stuff, but I saw like a great deal of well, different sh- shit. Being a guy that lived on the East Coast for r- roughly four and a half years. Mm-hmm. Oh, me too. I lived oh. for seven years. Oh, yeah, that's right. You, yeah, Norf- you were, Norf- you were Norf- out Norfolk, in Nor- Virginia. Norfolk. 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 Uh. Well, I'm sure you can agree with me. You didn't fucking miss a thing. The only thing I miss about the East Coast <laughs> is Wawa. And if anybody's uh, ever been to a Wawa, whoop, hey, man, them Sanchez, especially when you're hungover, you get one of them breakfast sammies. Oh, <laughs> God, it's like fucking heaven in your fucking if we mouth. Got, if we got some East Coasters. Coasters? That's a word I just made up. That's a, a, that's a beautiful word. If we've got some East Coasters listening to us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you... We're in that time of year, right? Yep. Almost Thanksgiving. Oh my God! Yes, I forgot about that. If you go oh, to Wawa, the gobbler, and you order a gobbler and you mail it to us, send us mm. send us a mess a private message, and we'll shoot you an address to mail the gobbler to. Yeah, just throw that bitch in some fucking dried ice and just oh pew, God, right to us. I would fucking, oh. dude, I would probably blow a load dude. all over the place because <laughs> god damn. I don't that, do cranberry sauce, so I'm not a cranberry sauce guy. Put it on the, fan. put it on the side. I'll sweet talk him into. No, I've done it. I've tried it. I don't okay. Like, I don't like cranberry sauce. Put it on the side because I'll put a little cranberry on there. That, oh my god, god that, that Wawa is... gobbler. So fucking <laughs> good. People in the Midwest just don't even know. They're like, nope. oh, Casey's, do you remember? Casey's makes good pizza. But their subs aren't that great. Oh, we have a Jimmy John's. Yeah. I'm like, we don't, even, we don't dude, even have a firehouse subs here. No. Such bullshit. That's good as fuck, too. A Wawa sub. Yeah. If, yeah, if you're ever on the East Coast, and it's not all the East Coast, because like the Northern, like Pennsylvania stuff, they, yeah, get, they get sheets, which is close, but North, it's not like, quite the same. Like, Pens- like Philadelphia, Southern New York, Northern New Jersey, New Jer- Southern New Jersey, like, like that. That area mm. there, you guys are stuck with sheets, which is okay. They got Wawa's all over there, but do they? Yeah, they even got Wawa's. That's where I was at. They even got Wawa's down in like Florida now. Yeah, like Jacksonville they, built like I a saw shit ton one of last time I was down there, but it looked like one that the hurricane probably took out. Oh, it's a damn shame. It wasn't. <laughs> there was a video not recently about a bunch of looters and sh- and shit at a fucking Wawa and there was some dude trying to order a sandwich like you gonna make my sandwich and the guy's dude, like dude uh, no not right now <laughs> funny there's a fucking riot going on funny looters. story right so hold on before before we do you remember when we were talking about that trip to Ohio to go to a Wawa dude it was like let's do it hours let's I'm take fucking down let's take let's take a day of vacation and when our boss asked why we're both taking vacation on the same day we're gonna go we're gonna drive to Ohio, and we're gonna get a Wawa. Sub. I'm not. He's not even gonna ask why, because in the little comment section, I'm gonna probably 
Let's just driving to Ohio to get a Wawa sandwich. <laughs> Don't ask questions. <laughs> yes. Let's do it. We got to make sure we watch. We'll it. fucking go to that location in Ohio and it'll be nothing. It'll be, it'll the, be a 7 It'll be like the bullshit. Wawa that doesn't serve subs. Oh, God. It'll be like the next Wawa that serves subs. See, I've never seen a Wawa that doesn't serve subs because everyone I've ever been to has subs. So, in, at least in Virginia, they were dude, all subs. In northern New Jersey, man, there was. So they had like. Let me let me put it this way, right? Put it this way. So, you know, like when you go to Minnesota and you see like the Quick Trip gas stations, and they're like old, mm-hmm. rundown, whatever. And then like three miles up the road, there's like the Quick Star. That's like the full service yeah. pizza, soup, subs, everything. In northern New Jersey, there was like the old, rundown Wawas that was like gas. And probably the originals, yeah, like the original ones. Because like the Bloodhound Gang, and then they had like fucking f- the Wawa and the, like their songs and stuff. Yeah, and like then they had like the new ones, which were all set up with like sub counters and stuff. Mm-hmm. And it would be our luck. The one in Ohio would be like an old school one that didn't just, serve subs. Just some. We get all the way out there. We'd have to. We'd have to like call and stuff or something before we did that trip because. I feel like I, I feel swear like, to God, if I go out there expecting a Wawa sub, and I get some fucking Seven Eleven bullshit, I'm gonna be. I would be fucking pissed. I would probably honestly, if I was there, I'd probably order a breakfast sandwich, and then like I always got like the I've, the fried the fried or the breaded chicken sandwich. Do I feel and like I would, I would take that? Those I, would I would take eat. that trip with you. I would do not knowing. That'd be fun anyway. Yeah. I feel like if you said let's go, we're not gonna call. We're just gonna see if it serves subs. I'd go. Hell yeah, I would. If, I feel like it's like a ten hour. I drive. Guarant- I guarantee you, we'd have a good time. <laughs> oh, it'd be fun. <laughs> Road sodas. Uh, no, just kidding. Okay, let me let me circle back because this is a funny story and I I yeah, forgot all story. about it. So it's tip and nipply in here. I lived. I lived like. Pro- it was probably from like as a crow flies my house to Wawa like, an eighth of a mile. Mm-hmm. Uh, but how you had to get there was like this weird curvy road that like went down and like came back. Oh yeah. Because the way that like their roads are, you had to like go all the way down to like this roundabout so you could get on the right side of the road to pull off to it. And my neighbor, who was like a couple years older than me, he was a good dude. He wasn't in the service or anything, but I met him because we were neighbors and we used to drink beer together and whatnot. And one night we were drinking beer and he goes. You want to run to Wawa real quick? He's like, I got to grab a few things for the house. And I said, well, yeah, I I should probably grab some chew and whatever. So we jump in the Jeep and we cruise down to Wawa. And I walk in and I and I bought like a tin of chew. And I walk back out and I get in the Jeep and he's still inside, right? And he comes walking out with like eight things like in his arms. And I like looked at him and I go, that's weird. He doesn't have a bag. You know, like a grocery bag. And he like gets in and he shuts the door. And I like put it in drive and I start rolling. And I go, why don't you ask him for a bag, dude? And he looked at me and he goes, don't ask stupid questions. <laughs> and I looked at him and I go, I'm a fucking accomplice in a fucking <laughs> Wawa robbery right now. <laughs> he fucking stole walked it. in and he stole like a loaf of bread, two of those like half gallons of fucking milk. Yeah. And he grabbed like the, the fucking pre-sealed like a thing of cheese and like deli meat. He grabbed everything he needed to make lunch at work for the week <laughs> <laughs> and walked out the fucking door. And we're halfway home, and I'm like, why didn't you grab a bag, dude? And then he's, like, sitting there, like, holding everything like this. <laughs> I was like, god damn it, man. They got my license plate, yeah. my Jeep. So, like, for a week and a half, I was, like, nervous. Dude, I was fretting. I'm like, the cops are going to come to my house, and they're going to ask, and I'm going to be forced to, like, do I play stupid, or do I rat my neighbor out? And for a week, I, like, couldn't decide what to do. And, like, nobody showed up, and I just forgot about it. 
and then like you were talking about it right now, and I'm like, God, I re- <laughs> I went right you back could, to it. You could get away with that. You just be like, Yeah, this uh, this guy that wanders around our neighborhood every now and again, he's he's uh, he just asked me for a ride to Wawa, and I took him there, and he came out with us. I had no idea he stole that shit. Dude, but like, you know how it is. Yeah. You think about it from the outside, and you have the answer to everything. Sure. But like when you're sitting there thinking like you're gonna go to jail for like robbing. $25 worth of lunch meat and cheese and bread and milk. I was scared shitless. I thought for sure they were they're going to be like, oh, yeah, license plate. This comes back to a fucking guy in the military. We're going to call his commander. Oh, you're kicked out. Dude, I thought for sure, like, my career's over. <laughs> over $25 worth of lunch meat and bread. <laughs> that, oh. that would have been a story to tell your grandkids. Oh, dude, I... I fretted for a while. I was, yeah. oh, dude, I was scared shitless. I'm never. like, I knew, I knew I should have quit chewing. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> never had any weird experiences like that or anything. No, no, not that I can think of. I remember being like high school and shit, and like every now and again, you know, you, oh, you jack like a fucking little bag of gummy bears and like I do. put them in your pocket so, and be like, yeah. oh. I'm going such back, a so badass. When I lived in gummy this, bears this, are the small town up the way up north there, mm-hmm. we there was this little tiny grocery store in the middle of town. You know, they had uh, this is back. You know, we were Sids. smoking. We were under. Yeah, we were Sids. Uh, huh? Sids? Uh, no, it was called. Uh, I don't know. Actually, it's, it's the Sids that's there right now, right? No, I don't think there's anything right there. It's right across the street from the post office. Oh, the one that the one I'm thinking of is right there on the main drag. It's Sids. Yeah, it's by but the. It's like shut it's down by now. The, yeah, it used to be something else. I can't remember exactly what it was called. It might have been. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway. the gas station is Sids. No, there's no gas there. It used to be. No, it's shut down now. No, not even back then. It where it wasn't. Anyway, well, it looks like a gas. Station. So they had anyway, like right. So you walk in and there's registers right there, and then they have the aisles behind them. And they like the f- very first aisle, right in the end, they have cartons of cigarettes. And we were underage, obviously, so we yeah. couldn't buy cigarettes. What else are you going to do? Yeah, so we went in there. Usually people would do it, but people have done it before. Like they'd go in in twos, and one person would be like the lookout or whatever, you know. <laughs> and the or other the one. the distraction, like asking questions about a pack of bubble gum. That's exactly what I was doing. <laughs> I saw it. So so I was <laughs> I was the fucking lookout or whatever and I'm sitting there at the fucking the the counter I'm talking to lady about gum and shit and my friend was there he was like grabbing the cigarettes and like it's like a carton you know so it's big and he's putting it under his hoodie it's middle of summer he's got a fucking hoodie on stupid fuck and uh anyway so <laughs> so I fucking so he's he's grabbing the cigarettes or whatever and I'm talking to this lady about the fucking gum <laughs> and shit like no 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 that one that one there and uh and he's grabbing it and the dude that like owns the place comes walking down the aisle and i look at the guy that was that was grabbing it and i was like no 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 and he's like i guess took that as like a get it and let's go and so he grabbed it he like started to put it in, under his fucking hoodie and like walked down to the aisle and the guy saw him and i look at him <laughs> i look at him like i had no idea i was like i was like <laughs> Frank, what the fuck are you doing? Are you stealing? Yeah, I'll take that gum right there. <laughs> I fucking bought the gum and left. I was like, what are you doing? Dude, and then we got out and we like left because there's no cops or anything involved or anything like that, you know? And I was like, I was like, dude, I tried to tell did, you not to fucking. They, I was like, I was, no, I was telling you no. Did they. They caught him though, like yeah, they caught him. They, he goes, <laughs> the guy comes down the aisle. He's like, it's like, hey, what are you doing? And that's when I was like, hey, what are you doing? Are you stealing, Frank? Why are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw uh, the fifty cent pack. I'll take that one right there, the green one. <laughs> it's like Jesus Christ. Oh, dude. Yeah, I totally forgot about oh. that story. Fuck man! I told him. I tried to tell him. I said no. I said no because she was turning the, the lady I was talking to back was turning around. I said, "Don't fucking do it." I was like, "There's a guy coming." Because I saw the guy coming down the aisle. I was like, "No, no." And he fucking he, fucking didn't, did anyway. he didn't understand my signals. I guess, but I thought you know this is pretty universal. Like, don't do it. 
<sighs> but he did it. Got caught. The shenanigans of being a young kid. Yeah. Like, there was one night we were out booze cruising, right? And, and I was still in high school. Well, hold on. Was that? I think I was just out of high school. But see, I my birthday is a July birthday. So I graduated high school in like early May. And I had to wait till July to turn 18. So I was graduated high school. Got That's him. a nice shot, dude. Yeah, you're welcome. I had to graduate high school first. And then I turned 18 like in early July. So I think it was like sometime in June. I had graduated, but I was still under 18. And actually, I think it was late June because it was close to my birthday. And I knew all the cops in Clear Lake at that time. They all knew me. I mean, it's a small town. Everybody knows everybody. Yeah. And we were partying at my buddy's house one night, and it got to be about like 2 o'clock in the morning. And we're like, Denny's let's go to Denny's and it was like a normal thing let's do it let's go so we like gravel traveled our way just driving back roads right and all over in the middle of the nowhere and we're drinking beer music blaring fucking having a good time and we like ran, we ran out of beer on our way to fucking Denny's and we're like okay on your way to Denny's <laughs> well we had like I think we took off and we went south out of Clear Lake yeah. It went like way like Thornton gra on gravel. Oh. And like we ran out of beer coming back. Yeah. So it's like well after two in the morning. And we're like, okay, <laughs> let's go to Denny's. We're hungry. And we get to Denny's, right? And for some reason, I don't know why, I don't remember why. I was wearing a mullet wig. Like a Joe Dirt mullet wig. Your your idol. Oh, I fucking love that guy. And we know. I love that fucking guy. <laughs> but it was like kind of like, I think it was like almost Halloween or like. Around that time. Yeah. Because me and a buddy, we were at Walmart and I saw the mullet wigs on the end of the aisle. And I was like, dude, those are great. Let's buy a couple. And I and so we were both wearing them. Me and this, my other buddy, we were wearing these mullet wigs. And. We go to Denny's and we're sitting in Denny's and we're, you know, I'm still 17 at the time. And my other, the buddies that were with me were like 20, 18, 19, whatever. So we're all fucking sitting there eating breakfast and we're hammered drunk. And one of, one of the guys goes, dude, let's, let's just fucking keep drinking and gravel travel till fucking the sun comes up. And all of us, of course, we were like, that's a great idea. Let's do that. That's an awful idea. However, we're oh out of beer. So what's our solution? Weed. And and <laughs> without even thinking of it, I was like, huh. Solution solved. I didn't say anything to anybody. I just stood up. And, and mind you, the Denny's at the time was like connected to a pilot gas station. Oh. So I just stood up. And I walked out of Denny's to is that pilot. Where the subway is or was? Was, yeah. Oh, okay. I walked through the subway and to the pilot gas station. And like the registers were like way around the corner. So when you come in from that way, like nobody can see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So I opened the door, I walked in, and I grabbed two cases of fucking bush light. And I. The door shut, and I stood there for a second looking at all the beer. And then I turned around and looked, and there was nobody anywhere. So I walked back over. I opened the door, and I walked through fucking Subway, walked back to fucking Denny's, and I walked in with two cases, and everyone was like, what the fuck? And I'm like, yeah, I got beer. All right, we got to go. Sat down, and I, no, and I put the beer under the table. Yeah. We sat down. We finished eating breakfast. Paid our bills, got in the fucking car, went and drove around, fucking drank our beer, had a fucking great goddamn night. It was like a week later. I was I was at the house and I'm standing out in the garage with my dad, and he was doing something, and the phone rang. And he goes, 
And it was like back in like the day, like the home phone with the caller ID. Mm-hmm. And he looks at it and goes, Clear Lake Police Department. The fuck do they want? And I'm like, I don't know. And he answered it. And he goes, Al Dickens, what do you want? <laughs> you know? And he immediately goes, Yeah, he's here. And I go, Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> They hit my dad hands me the, or no, he didn't hand me the phone. My dad goes, yeah, I'll send him up. Oh. Hangs up the phone. He goes, that was the Clear Lake detective. He wants detective. you. He wants you to stop at the police department. They got to ask you a few questions. What'd you do? And I go, I have no fucking clue. <laughs> you know, <laughs> playing stupid. So I drove up there and I walk in and the detective goes, Colby, how you doing? Good. How are you? Come on back here with me, will you? Go, okay. So I walk in. He sits me down. And he goes, I need you to look at something. I go, okay, what is it? And he rotates his fucking laptop and he pushes play. He goes, who's that guy right there? And it was a very detailed, high clarity security system, which is very rare. At that time, it's always blurry, dude. At that time, and he and he told me as soon as I saw it, I looked at the guy and I said, "That's me." Mm-hmm. And he goes, "I could tell it was you." <laughs> <laughs> he goes, "What's up with the mullet wig?" I said, "I go, all right. Here's the story." And I gave him the whole spiel. I said, "I, I, it wasn't intentional. I didn't." Plan this out. It was we were eating breakfast. We had all been drinking. I said I was fucking drunk, making stupid decisions. And he goes, "Pilot doesn't want to press charges. However, the only way that you can legally recoup pilot is through the court system." Mm. I said, "What do you mean?" He goes, they don't want to press charges, but you can't go recoup them, the money that you took from them, because you're not 21. Oh. And I was like, motherfucker. Your dad couldn't just go pay it? No. No. I had to be the one that paid them. That's stupid. And, he, and so what I... I went to pilot, right, after I talked to the fucking detective... And I sat down with the manager and I said, look, I, dude, I'm super sorry. I said, I'm 17. <laughs> Me and my buddies were drinking. It was late. I was fucking drunk. I made a shitty fucking drunk decision. I took beer from you and I really fucking apologize. And I really would love, love to just reimburse you. Yeah. And he goes, we can't. If we accept money from you on this. They get fined or something. Then the cops are going to fine us for selling booze to a minor. <laughs> it was such a tricky fucking spot, dude. Yeah. And and they're like, the only way that they can recoup their money is to go through the court system, plead guilty to the fucking like, like fifth or seventh degree theft charge. <laughs> right. And then the money that I owe them would go through the court and then go back to them. And he's like, and at this point, he goes, it's already been filed, so I can't even, like, drop the charges. Like, the cops have to drop the charges, and the fucking police department wouldn't do it. So really? I, dude, they, would, they wouldn't drop them. So I, I've got, I'm a fucking criminal for stealing. <laughs> <laughs> for stealing some beers. <laughs> and, I, and I told the detective, he goes, he goes why did you do it? And I looked him straight in the face at 17 years old and said, uh, one, I was seven, I'm 17. Two, it's past two o'clock in the morning, so I can't buy it. Any, nobody can buy it. Oh, it was a time limit. Yeah, because yeah. then it was like you, could, you couldn't buy it between like two and five in the morning or right. some shit. So I was like, one, I'm 17, can't buy it. Two, it's past two o'clock in the morning. Can't buy it. So I said, my only option was to steal it. And I'm 17 and I'm stupid as fuck. So I stole it. 
but I was having a good time. We were just trying to keep the party rolling. Just trying to keep the party rolling, man. And and hey, you know what? We got away with it long enough to have a good time. It was fucking weird. But it was like right during that time where like I was trying to go to the service. So they were doing background checks and shit on me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Luckily, they fucking did my background investigation prior to that happening. So like I was oh. already like free, clear, yeah. background, security clearance done. And then this happened, and I was like, hmm, I'm just not going to tell anybody about that and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, you know what's... I guarantee you, if I would have stayed in long enough to have to redo my security clearance, yeah, I would have been fucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but... I remember when I joined, I had to do... So they asked me questions like, have you ever smoked marijuana and stuff? And I was like, it, I'm stupid. I should have just been like, no. But of, of oh, course, I was, told like, them yes. I was like, I was like, yeah, I tried it once, you know, or, or whatever. <laughs> and then I had to do like waivers and all this shit, like a bunch of fucking steps that I really could have just avoided by just, yeah. just by saying, saying no. no. Yeah, dude. Such they find idiot. out everything. Yeah. I found, found out, out years later. I never got caught for it. Like, I never got busted with with weed or anything. You know, it was just a admission of my own guilt. It's like, yeah, I smoked it once. I found out years later. Oh, waiver. Tattoo waiver. Stupid. I I ran into my old kindergarten teacher one day at Walmart. Kinder, you remember your kindergarten teacher? Yes, I do. And, That's weird. And me and her had a, such a great conversation at Walmart. She's like, I can't believe you remember me. And I said, yeah, absolutely I do. You know, and we bullshit. And she, I mean, she's old now, like old, yeah. old. And she goes, it's funny because... She goes, I'll never forget you as a student, for one, for just because of you being a student. But she goes, I'll special. also never forget that I got a phone call one time from uh, Homeland Security oh. investigating you for a security clearance. Yeah. They questioned me about how what you were like as a kindergarten student. And I go, are you fucking That's, kidding me the, in, they do Dude, in detail they shit. go so fucking crazy in yeah. depth with that oh my god as a kin kindergarten student yeah well, i mean do you want to come into the apartment with me yeah i mean yeah. i just want to take some, take pictures. some pictures like yeah, fifty bucks is sure. That's 50 the bucks kind of fifty bucks. That might be the kind of shit so, they're looking for. Honestly, but, you who you can find that kind of, like you can kind of feel out people like that. You know what I mean? Because like. That kind of shit starts early yeah. sometimes. Yeah. You know, they're skinning cats and doing weird shit like that. Dude, so whether it's it's known or not. My, my cousin, we grew up as brothers. Yeah. By the way, I got a question for you about something. In 30 the seconds. Yep. He's a huge trapper, right? This dude, his favorite hobby in the world is setting traps and catching animals, right? Like live, not... No, like footholds, snares. Like bear trap type shit. Yeah, right? Okay. He loves to go out in the, in the ditches, the woods, whatever. Beavers, muskrat. Like, he loves to set traps and catch critters. It's good. It's, it's a just, good, good shit to know for the apocalypse. It's coming. It's coming. Uh, dude, he fucking loves it. <clears throat> and back when like we were in high school he had a trapping shed where like after we caught the animals we would go to his trapping shed and we'd hang them up and then we'd skin everything because he would sell the furs and there's a lot of people right now that are going what the fuck but that's a real thing i mean you watch like bush people or alaska or the last frontier like that that used to be a way of living for a, for a lot of fucking people. Oh, yeah. That's how people stayed warm. Nowadays, <laughs> well, there was a, a time chi China fucked the market up because they were making like imitations, like furs and shit. Right. And selling them as real. And all of a sudden the market tanked and it hasn't ever really <laughs> rebounded. <laughs> but in high school, he used to trap all like all the fucking as soon as season opened until season closed, like he was trapping hard as fuck. I'm not kidding you. 
in the middle of trapping season, if you were just a random person and you walked into his trapping shed. Oh, you think he's like some psycho? Oh, my God. <laughs> you would walk in and instantly feel like you were in, like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh. And you hang from and the ceilings dude, and walls and stuff. Dead skulls, paws. Yeah. I could see. Uh, I would probably like if blood, I, guts, meat. If, like if dude, I walked in there and I saw that shit, I'd probably get that same dude, vibe. Get like, dead carcasses, ugh, like fuck out of here. You would have freaked and been like, <laughs> "I'm fucked. I'm gonna die." <laughs> like, but I mean, that's just. Let's head to the ready car. No, dude, that's stupid. Let's go to the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that fucking commercial. So funny, dude. It, but that's the thing. Yeah, uh, you. If you weren't accustomed to that kind of thing, like you'd definitely be scared shitless. But oh yeah, when you live in a place like we do, it's still small town. It's still old school. People do that shit. A lot of it, and, mm-hmm. and it is what it is. But yeah, like. So what we all right? What so, were you yeah, gonna ask quick, me? I have a quick question for you. Yeah, I, I noticed you moved Rusty Bottom today. Yeah. Did you yep. hold on? In case you guys don't understand the reference of Rusty Bottom, I'm gonna explain it. I've got a 1978 Ford F-150 Ranger Explorer. Yes, three vehicles in one. That's how they used to do it in 78. <laughs> <laughs> and he calls her Rusty Bottom. Her name is Rusty Bottom. It's all rust out. Because on the, on the outside, she Very looks like inside, she's had though. a fucking go. Yeah. But so, the inside is fucking mint. It's very good. Yeah. And she starts like every yeah, that, that dude. Past your side. Uh, window could use a little attention, but anyway. So you, I saw you. I saw you moved it. Today. I don't sit in the. I don't sit in the. Did you notice seat. any smell or anything in there? No, I didn't. Why? What'd you do to fucking Rusty Bottom? I did not do anything to Rusty Bottom. I wouldn't touch Rusty Bottom, aside from, you know, getting in it and going places. Okay, so the reason you're asking me this is because. I guarantee you, Ryan, my cousin, <laughs> who we grew up as brothers. I'm not saying anything. I guarantee you, you know that or saw him put something in my fucking truck. And what was it? I didn't smell shit. And it's been cold. So that's probably why. I know. What the fuck did he do to my truck? Because he likes to play fucking games. So <laughs> and hide dead, dead animals and dead critters in my truck or in the bed of my truck. It's not nothing dead. Fucking Tempe does it. Tempe will go fishing. He'll catch a bunch of fish for all of his clients. And then he'll have a bunch of dead, like, stripers or fucking bluegills in the bed of his truck. And at work, he'll take, like, three or four of them and he'll throw them in the bed of my truck. <laughs> and he'll wait, like, a week to see if I fucking notice that they're in there. No, okay. So it was Jaden's uh, 30th. Yeah. 30th and a half. What do you put in there? So we were standing outside. He was walking his dog, and the dog took a, a dookie. Did he, he put a fucking he cleaned, dog? He cleaned. Listen, he cleaned the dookie up, put it in a bag, took it to the trash dumpster, threw it in said trash dumpster, started walking back. He said, "Man, I should have taken that and I should have put it on an old rusty bottom." And I said, "Yeah, you really should have. You should go get that and put it back in rusty bottom." <laughs> and he looks at me, and like it, it was like a light bulb. I was like. It's like, yeah, you're right. He went dumpster and he diving. Went, he went he... dumpster diving. Got the bag of poop. That motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> took it to Rusty Bottom and put it under the seat. So is I've been it, waiting for you this... to drive that motherfucker to work and you is haven't that, done it yet. Is that why last week you were like, man, you never drive Rusty yes, Bottom anymore? Fuck exactly you. I Fuck that. you. God. So after so this, there's a bag of dog shit under may, the seat of my... I don't, I don't know if he was like, ah, fuck it. And he took it out and threw it in the trash. But I am I saw him walk over there. Get the fuck. That fucker landed right in my eye. So we're going to have to check and see if it's if it's under there or not. So I don't know for a fact if it is. So we're playing those games now, huh? You know what's funny? I mentioned, okay. this, to, I mentioned this to Tempe like the, week, okay. the Monday after. Hey. And I was like, hey, he's like, this is what happened. He goes, uh-oh, this is going to start some shit. He's going to do this, and Kobe's going to find out, and it's going to start a fucking... A, a fucking prank war between the two of them. And I'm it's, like, good. Hey, let it happen. I would love to see this because it would be glorious. It's all fun and games. <laughs> Until someone gets a bag of poop thrown in their face. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should have driven I, it when hey, it was warm. You know what's funny is we have the codes to each other's houses, right? 
Yeah. So, and, and, and I know that Katie stays up late, mm-hmm. right? And when she stays up late, Ryan puts on like this little bitch, girly ass, like sleeping mask. Like I need my hours and he puts fucking earplugs in so he can sleep while she's up like oh, doing shit God, late at night. I couldn't do that. I happen to know this information, right? <laughs> Yeah. So if I find said dog shit bag, guess what, Ryan? You better sleep with one eye fucking open because I'm going <laughs> to talk to Katie and I'm going to come in there and I'm going to fuck with him bad when he's yeah. sleeping. Does he have heavy sleeper? Like, can you fuck with him and he won't wake up? No, he'll wake up. But That's a I shame. guarantee you, guarantee you, could do you some shit. Ooh, I could do some ooh. shit. You know that, put a rat trap between his legs. Have you ever, okay, so he, <laughs> he, have you ever seen that video where like this this girl is sleeping in the basement and like this her husband or dad or I don't know who I don't know it was it was very black and white and gray and stuff but like he so he put like black white and gray <laughs> yeah. three different colors like what I, yeah so he put like uh, you know that movie The Ring yeah where like the girl is it The Ring where she's like coming out of the TV and shit yeah. So he put starts like a, in the fucking yeah. He put like a the water well, like a uh, I don't I don't know what he made it out, but it was like it was like a girl coming out of the TV. Oh and then he's like, yes, ooh, ooh, and yeah. then like they woke up. And you should totally fucking oh do that. Oh my Ryan, god! And you know what's funny? Uh that we f- not the fucking, ring, not the ring. You know what I need to do? You, first of all, no before the, the grudge. Oh, the you remember uh, the grudge? Uh, or like the. Dude, he was so scared shitless of that fucking movie, man. You have to do this before next Monday. Or Children of the Corn. You have to do this before next Monday because they listen to our shit. We used and to if he hears to, this, he's going to be fucking on point waiting for you. So, shit. so he was so scared of like the movie The Children of the Corn, right? And we would try to go play paintball. I've actually never seen Children we of the Corn. We used to play paintball at night out on, out on his acreage. And we'd go outside and start playing, and like 30 seconds in, Ryan would go inside because at night, he was scared, scared shitless of the cornfield. <laughs> That's funny. Dude, and it got to a point where like we'd be hiding, and we're like, where the fuck are these guys? There's nobody out. So we'd go looking for people, and then we'd see them like in the windows inside. So then we'd like shoot at the house. And then they'd like poke out the door and they'd be like shooting at us from the door. So we'd be fucking trying to like sneak paintballs through the crack of the door and the fucking <laughs> <laughs> got a couple through the door into the hallway. My aunt Chrissy fucking lost it. Oh, I bet. <laughs> you know, dude, it was bad. Dude, we need to get uh, we need to get some paintball guns or some airsoft and just fucking go ham. I watched those videos on TikTok of those the fucking sniper airsoft dudes. Yeah, when they're like these. When they're like, you can see the guy get hit, and he like looks over. He's like, ah, "There's nobody there, no big deal." Gets hit again, looks over. Ah, ain't nobody shooting at me. Nobody saw me. And then, and, and then he's like, "All right, well, fuck you." Right in the face. He like shoots him in the nuts or right in the face. Yeah. And then they're like, "Oh, hit, hit." Yeah. It's you can't do imagine, the face though because they got the mask. You got to get him like in the ear or somewhere. Imagine it having hurts. a fucking sniper. Yeah, airsoft gun, dude. I've been wanting to shooting the fuck out. Of I've people. been wanting to do airsoft because it looks oh, so dude. fucking fun. I used to love paintball, but air, I feel like airsoft would be even better, dude. We're doing it. Myers is gonna listen to this. He doesn't listen to our shit anymore. He stopped at episode three. Uh, he's gonna listen to this one day because we're gonna be huge, and he's gonna be like, ah. I guess I'll watch it <laughs> when we go play like fucking laser tag and shit. He is so tactical. Yeah. When it comes to laser tag. Oh, he's going to get fucked. He he goes straight fucking like Navy SEAL tactical. And I feel like it doesn't help him because I, I think last time we played, I feel like he got shot a lot. Yeah. He, he might disagree with, with what I'm saying, but I feel like he was... The most tactical out of all of us, and I think he got shot a lot. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So. <sighs> so. We, we took are, a little. No. A, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There's some 
We took a short intermission here because it was bothering the fuck out of me. We went outside and we checked old Rusty Bottom. Old girl, she's such a good fucking truck. I love that goddamn truck so much. She's a good girl. And I can't believe I'm such a shitty truck owner that I let her fucking sit for sit around two for weeks. A week and a half. We'll say two weeks. Two weeks. With a bag of fucking puppy shit sitting under the goddamn <laughs> driver's seat. He tucked it in there nice, too. I'm going to tell you right now, Ryan. <laughs> Uh-oh. I didn't dime you out. He fucking already knew. So just let's, let's just go with that. You may have won a battle, <laughs> but I am going to win the fucking war. So get ready, my friend, because I'm about to unleash a holy new hell on you that you've never seen before. I can't wait to watch this unfold. Oh, <laughs> this be <great>. buddy. <laughs> You have to set up cameras. If you do like the shit that I said oh, or dude. anything, you just got to record we're, that shit because I want to see it. We're setting cameras up. We're Perfect. setting fucking phone cameras up. We're going to fucking put audio devices. I am going to fucking make Ryan. I want you guys to understand something, right? Who guys? Ryan. Like them guys? Everybody guys. Okay. Is scared shitless of the Chucky doll. I'm not. Chucky? The movie Chucky? Yeah. The doll? I guarantee fucking goddamn to you. If he was sleeping and we propped Chucky up in his room with a fucking knife at the edge of his bed and made some racket so that he woke <laughs> up, he would fucking lose his mind. So God, you know what you should do bad. instead, of Chucky, because Chucky, I don't think Chucky's scary, dude. You he, should do, you he should was do Annabelle. So scared, do Annabelle or something like that, like old creepy fucking doll. <clears throat> Have you seen Annabelle and all that shit? I'm gonna plan this, and I'm gonna let I him think that question. everything's fucking done for a while. Yeah, I'm gonna think. I'm gonna let him think that like he got away with it for a long time. You can't say this stuff because he's gonna hear this, and you're gonna be like, your your, your whole plan is gonna be ruined. Dude, fuck it. Oh, I'm ruined. I'm versatile. <laughs> I said it weird. I'm versatile. <laughs> ru 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 ruined. Dude, I am versatile and I am patient. Yeah, but you're also forgetful. Hey. You know? Even if my payback is like fishing on his bachelor party and randomly shoving him off the front of the boat <laughs> in the lake. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good with that. Don't do that. That's lame. You got to be. It better be good. You, okay. It needs to be like top caliber. Yeah. Okay. Like. Okay. The, uh, okay. Annabelle doll is bad. The thing coming out. You know, something. Dude, but good. you got to remember, like, I'm. I know him very fucking well. Right. And the things that I'm bringing up are things that are like. They're not just. I'm I'm scared. No, I'm scared of them. They're like. I get it, but like, I I just feel heart like stoppers, the, Annabelle, I'm the Annabelle doll would be so much worse than Chucky. I, just, I don't know. I just feel like Chucky's kind of meh. Like, they're good and stuff, but they're not scary. Annabelle, like, that's just creepy as fuck, dude. Because that could actually Should happen. we take it to a really fucked up level? So, like, should we take it really fucking far? I'm, like, I mean, what like do you say almost, we? I'm not a part of this. No, I'm just are. a bystander. No, you're part of it now. No. You are roped. I'm not. I'm not helping either you one of you. I'm just watching. You are lassoed and roped in. No, I'm not. I'm watching. What would you do if you woke up in a bathtub full of ice? Yeah. Uh, and you know. had, like, you looked down and there was, like, you, like, obviously they're fake, but you, like, when you first look, you're groggy. You're like, huh? You feel like you're bleeding. There's... Fucking shitty fucking fake scars and stitches. I'd probably be like, well, I'm pretty lucky. I made it through this far and I'm still alive. Like you would you would go to a dark place really fucking quick, I think. Probably. I would. If I woke up, I would straight like I bet you I'd make some noises that if you didn't catch them on camera, you fucked up. Yeah. Cause I think I would make some really scared, like horror scared sounds. <laughs> Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> no words, just sounds, just, and I would panic. 
I would panic really hard. Yeah. Like one of those situations where you get in where you're like, okay, calm down. Everything's okay. That wouldn't no. This is the way this is the way we're gonna get out of this. Out of, of, of this. That probably wouldn't happen. You're not gonna that's not the first things you're gonna say yourself. No, I know. I no, you're that, freak I'm out. saying I'm saying other situations like where mm-hmm. where you know like, okay, you fucked up, but hey, we have a plan. This is the plan. We think it's gonna work. We're gonna get out of it. And by we I mean me and the voice that talks to me in my head. So like Jason. No. Is it Jeremy? Schmitty. Schmitty. Yeah. He's, yeah my, was, he's my boy. That's close. Uh, but like that whole scenario, I don't think would happen. I think I would skip that and just go to straight like, I'm done. It's over. I'm done. I'm fucked. It, whatever happened. I, I, uh, Honestly, I feel like it. the first thing I would be doing is looking for a phone. Like, where's my phone? I'd be reaching for my phone. Once it's not near me, I'd be like, oh, my God, I got to I got to find some sort of phone somewhere dude imagine if we could videotape him panicking in a hotel room you could do it pretty easily stumbling out of the hotel room butt naked don't you have down the hallways yes yeah that's all you need dude i think we could i think we could take this to a whole new level to a level where i think he would seriously contemplate pulling pulling even the simplest prank on me ever again (laughs) I'm never putting a a small. I'm bag never of going puppy to shit. In I'm Colby's never. Truck again. <laughs> I'm never even going to talk shit to Colby again ever. <laughs> I'm going to be so nice to Colby. He is going to love me forever. And Every time he comes here, about... he's going to have two thirty k thirty packs of fucking Bush Light ready to go in the fridge. Like, hey bud, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> I I feel like. <sighs> I feel like we need to film a horror movie, but it's a prank on Ryan. That'd I be like, fun. I feel like that needs to <laughs> That'd be fun. We could get so many people in on this, too. Yeah. I mean, we need to get Katie in on it. Jaden, Ashley. We need to get my sister, her wife, Leah, his brothers, if they come back for it. I don't think we could talk him into coming back for it. But Aren't we, you his brother? His his blood brothers. Yeah, oh. they're they're less brothers to him than I am. Mm. That's how it works. But dude, I think we're on to something. Rusty, I can't believe what a dick. Why would mm. honestly he wasn't gonna do it? I'm it's kind of my fault because he said he wasn't gonna do it. Well, He's like, I thought about it and I was like, Nah, I better not. He threw I, it in the trash and then he came and he told me that. I, hope, and I was like, Why not? Just do it. I hope you really regret that decision when you wake up in a bathtub full of ice. You know what? If I wake up in a bathtub full of ice, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> It's no big deal. Kobe did this. <laughs> I'm not actually cut. I'm good. <laughs> You're going to stand up and fall down and be like, oh, oh shit, I am cut. Because you're actually going to take my kidney and shit. <laughs> Joke's on you, I took your kidney. <laughs> you know, speaking of, I've only been blackout drunk once in my life that I can think of. And it was in uh, Suda Bay, Crete, which is Suda Bay. Yeah, it's pretty good. I know where Suda I've been to Suda Bay. Bay. Downtown, uh, is it Catania or Hania? Hania. Because Catania is Italy. Pretty sure, but anyways, Hanya. Bit. It was downtown. It was like a little city, Hanya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds. Uh, yeah. So the no, only time it? I've ever been, yeah, I'm pretty sure the only time I've ever Hanya. been blackout drunk is down there, and then we were doing shots and playing. Uh, what was it quarters? I think we were playing quarters at the bar, and down there they have. Uh, it's like a. It's like their moonshine. It's like a rice or something. I don't. It's uh, kind of like a sake. Kind of. It's not as good. It's called uh, because sake is just a moonshine. What's it what called? It it's a Asahi, rice vodka. Asahi or uh, what was it called? Um, I don't. I don't know. When I I wasn't there long enough to know. Oh, we were, I mean, we were there for a while, and I'm. It's. I just can't remember what it's called. But anyway, so <coughs> so you they they take this moonshine, basically their moonshine. Yeah. You drink it. They flip it over, set it on fire, put out the flames, and then you suck out like the gas. Sounds Man, fucking sketchy, dude. I was, <laughs> I don't remember fucking shit, and I was out for like a good four or five hours. I remember the first hour, 
That's all it. That's that's all I remember. I was trying to fight my my LPO, which is leading petty officer. I was trying to fight him. I was like walking down. I get apparently I was walking down the street, like holding on to bricks, like the brick walls and shit. Don't remember shit. I remember waking up the next morning, people fucking banging at my door because we had to go to work the next day. They're just banging at my door and they're saying like, "Oh, they've been trying to get a hold of you for hours and blah 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 and all this shit." And I was like. The fucking officer drove me to work and I was, that's it. I remember they told me like I was trying to fight everybody and blah, blah, blah. And all this shit. I Never feel- again. Suck out gases of a fucking Greek moonshine <laughs> ever. I feel like me and you need to, we need to film and document a night like that. I feel like that- me and you need to go have a rager. Yeah. Film it. Dude, I'm down. Document it. I'm down, but uh, that never happens to me. Like I don't, I don't get like that ever. I ever. I I think I I think I could do it to you. You can't do it to me. I bet you I could. You I will. I will let you try. Okay. Last time we had a good time. What happened after you dropped me off? When? Which time? The time you dropped me off. Uh, from Jake's. Yeah. Yeah. I threw up. Yeah. But that's not like that's different. Yeah. But that's just because we we're mixing all kinds of different alcohols. So what you're saying is I have to drug you. No, I'm gonna. Dr- Next time all. we go out, I'm drugging you. Do you just do you have roofies just laying around? And I know a guy. You know a guy. <laughs> I I believe it. You, <laughs> you look like the type. <laughs> you know. You know. Be really funny. What if we drugged each other? Right. See. So. So. Right. We go out. Mm-hmm. Right. The goal is we have to drug each other without getting caught. And then the next morning, we have to see who remembers the latest part of the night. Okay, so we have to. But we have to have like sober people with us that are say, like taking so we have care to have of like us. our wives or something. Yeah, like, like somebody has to make sure that like we're not getting. We're not going to get taken home by Jeffrey Dahmer on or, accident because yeah, I drugged you. Then. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fucked. <laughs> So what, fucked. Ha- what happened to Brandon? Nobody saw him after you drugged him. Uh, fuck. Jeffrey got him. <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> well, I guess you win, Colby. <laughs> fuck you, Jeffrey. Oh, fuck. That would be... Uh, it'd be kind of fucked, but it'd be fun. I don't, I don't even know where you can get said drugs, but... I bet you, in this day and age, if you walked around just asking people, like, hey, do you know where to get roofies? Most people would think you're kidding, but you'd probably find somebody <laughs> that'd probably. be like, yeah, no, yeah. Do you want, you need them? Do you want some roofies? <laughs> yeah, no, I got some. 40 bucks. <laughs> yeah, it's for, it's for myself or it's for my friend. We're trying something weird. Yeah, we're, uh, we're doing a, we're doing a thing. It's, it's, a, it's not a big deal. It's, it's not, it's, nothing really illegal. It's hard to explain. Dude, I don't want to fucking know. Do you want the roofies or we'll not? S- we'll send it. We'll, <laughs> we'll send it. <laughs> Do you want the shit or not? Dude, I don't need to know this. Do you want them or no? We'll sign a contract or something yes. saying we... <laughs> I consent to I being roofied. I can't, can't sue you. <laughs> shit. I consent to being floried. Yeah, floor. Yeah. <laughs> fucking stepbrothers, man. Uh, or no, not stepbrothers. Uh, the hangover. Uh, hangover. Yeah. Classic. God. Mm. That would be fucking good shit, though. That would be fucked up. I would be down to do it. I'd be down to do it. Because, like, my curiosity with it would be how how long would I be able to fucking go before I'm like, ah, dude, I don't remember anything. You know? Because, I, dude, there was one night I think somebody got me, but... I'm so used to drinking large amounts of alcohol that I didn't actually go into like a fucking slumber fast enough. And they just said, all right, fuck that guy. Cause it doesn't matter how drunk I get. I remember everything. I wake up in the morning and I may have to piece a couple things together to be like, how did I do this? And Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It was because we were doing this. Okay. I got it. I'm back. Yeah. Now the whole night's complete. I remember everything. But there was one night where it was like I hadn't drink. I hadn't drank a lot, but I was on my way there. 
And then all of a sudden I'm waking up in the morning and I go, how the fuck did I go from like 930 to waking up in my bed at fucking eight o'clock in the morning? Mm -hmm. I, I don't, I, I can't piece together anything. I don't remember anything. How the fuck did that happen? And at that time, there was a rumor running around that people may or may not have been getting slipped some shit yeah. at the bar. And I don't think it was like somebody trying to like harm people, but I think they were doing it just to be funny. But I think they got me. They got you. And I think I think my hand was a little bit better than their hand. <laughs> And they just gave up on me. <laughs> Fuck this guy. Because I ended up getting home and I woke up in my bed and I was like, huh. That's, <laughs> that's weird because the last thing I remember, <laughs> I was standing at the bar and it was pretty fucking early. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I, I think I got, I think I got got once. Probably. But I remember one time we went to uh, the Azores <clears throat> lodges. Oh yeah. They have, uh, it's not running with the bulls but it's like so it's like this little town they have these three bulls and they'll do one at a time the first two they have like on a sounds it, weak kind of like a, a leash but not really it's just a really long rope in case they get like out of control they can kind of pull them back or whatever and uh dude we were just we we're technically we weren't supposed to do it because it's because some, I think some sailor or something got fucked up by a bull. Yeah. And so they were in a hospital. So they put the like Azores. rules to it. Yeah. Yeah. So we we did it. We weren't supposed to. <clears throat> we're just fucking hammered. Just running from these bulls and shit. I remember there was this, like this little alley and uh, I was standing up it like halfway. And uh, this bull, it comes up the street and it stops in front of the alley and it like turns and it looks up. At us in this fucking alley, and it starts like coming up there. And I turn, and there's like I start running, and there's these two kids. They're probably fourteen in my way, and I just like shoved them out of the way. I was like, "Get the fuck out of the way! Get the fuck out of here!" There's a fucking bull behind us. <laughs> shoved them out of the way, and the fucking anyway. So I remember the, what made me think of that is because I, I remember the next morning I was so we were out at, even after that we went out and fucking partied. Late, late as fuck. I think we had to fucking we had a flight time of like six o'clock, or set maybe seven even. You know, and so we went home late as fuck. It was early in the morning, basically. Yeah. <clears throat> and I remember I got home, and I was like, "Shit, I better just pack my stuff. I'm not even gonna go to sleep. I'm just gonna fucking crank one out real quick, and fucking, <laughs> and then I'll fucking be good, and we'll fucking we'll I'll." Just, sleep on the flight that's where you fucked up you cranked one out i didn't even crank one out i fucking got on the bed i fucking <laughs> pants maybe unbuttoned <laughs> and i fucking passed the fuck out <laughs> i just woke up to my fucking my leading petty officer and my senior chief they're in my fucking room packing my shit i woke up to them packing my shit i was like what's going on they're like, we got to get the fuck out of here. We're like 30 minutes late for our flight, which is our own plane. I was like, yeah, we're late for our own plane. <laughs> They're just packing my shit. I was like, oh, my God, I didn't get in trouble. Well, they were there yeah, at the yeah. fucking bowl, you know. Yeah. They didn't go out late at night, but they were there fucking running from the bowls and shit. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> dude, I was like, that was probably one of the scaredest I've ever been without really needing to be scared, like, if that makes sense. You know, yeah. They were just trying to get us gone. Yeah, yeah. They they were looking out for you, but you woke up thinking I was I was I'm fucked. I'm in so much trouble. But at the same time, like looking back at, it, I was like, they were there with me, running, you know, doing the running from the bullshit. They can't be that mad at me. Like yeah. they don't know. They didn't know what I did later that night. You know, yeah. they thought I went to bed. I didn't, <laughs> but they thought I did. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> But anyway, I was going to say the third bowl, they let off the leash and just went fucking rampant. And I remember jumping into bushes and fucking scaling walls and shit. It was fun. It was a good time. I, uh, Azores, go there. Run from bulls. <laughs> run, <laughs> run from bull. Hey, dude. So I was in Spain one time and I, I told, I told a matador 
right? Because I can't speak Spanish, and he was showing me pictures of him fighting bulls, right? And he's like, oh, me matador. Like, I'm like, oh, you're a matador, right? So my dumb ass, right, being an American, I go, me, ride, Toro. <laughs> Apparently, that's a sign of disrespect. He got fucking mad as fuck. Instantly. And at the time, he just had, he had a flip phone. And it was one of those, like, he flipped it shut super hard <laughs> after I said that. And I go, he's mad. Why are you mad, bro? He put it in his <laughs> pocket and he shoved me. <laughs> really? Dude, he shoved me. And I, like, at uh, where I was standing, like, I, I, like, fell into, like, the wall of the bar we were at. And out th- like in Spain, you can drink on the street. It's not like a public intox rule or whatever. Yeah, you can st- drink on the street outside of the bar. And I'm standing there. He shoved me. My beer went flying. I fucking hit the wall. And I looked at him like, "What? What the fuck did I do? What's up, bro? You ain't rumble, bro." And and like I was confused at first because it was like we were having a conversation. He was smiling, happy, like I'm a matador, showing me pictures. I said, I ride Toro. I don't ride bulls. But I was like, you know, I was drunk and I was like, yeah, I, I, I rode a bull. <laughs> <laughs> I did it once. Yeah, you know, I got jumped on a little tiny bull one time at a buddy's house in high yeah. school and all of a sudden I'm a bull rider. Was it mechanical and at a bar? Sure. Yeah, sure. But one, same difference. One right? fucking time. <laughs> this dude freaked out, shoved me, beer went flying. I like hit the wall and I'm like, what the fuck? And. All I see is this little fucking short goddamn Spaniard. Yeah, they're pretty small, right? The the bullfighters. They're like they're like jockeys. They're short. They're little. Yeah. Some of them are tall, but they're all like skinny and like real very slender. Like yeah. skinny and in shape. And I I was just confused the whole time. I'm like confused as fuck. <laughs> and what's happening? Like man? I'm like like up against the wall and. I like took a step forward and he like he had a hand back and he had a hand like on my chest and I like had to do like a two plus two <laughs> equals four. He's trying to punch me. <laughs> and, <laughs> and as soon as like the clogs and the wheels started clicking you say clogs like the shoes. Yeah. You mean cogs cogs. As soon as the, as soon as, the clogs, as soon as those clogs stop a clicking, <laughs> as soon as the clogs started clicking, I was like, "Wait, he's trying to punch me!" And he he already had a hand on my chest, and he had a hand cocked back, and I knew he was close enough to hit me, and I was still like stuck on the what's happening, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So before he could throw a punch, I fucking I grabbed him and I knocked him out. He went right to the fucking ground like a sack of potatoes. And it wasn't like, dude, it was like half a second, right? All the buddies that were with me were fucking there, like around me. And all of this Matador's friends were like around him. And it was like a group. Yeah. Like hustle group but but it, it dude it, it like he he hit the ground and it was like everybody was there right and we're like shoving and pushing and no other punches were thrown there was like a lot of like posturing nobody knew spanish they didn't know any english everyone was like posturing and it like separated like pretty quick and all of a sudden i'm like we gotta get out of here they warned us if we go to jail in Spain, like we're stuck here. Yeah, they're not. They're not getting us out. If we go to jail, I'm like, guys, let's go. And our whole fucking group, like, we got halfway down the street, and we took this alley to go to like a different bar. Luckily, like, we had figured out where the bars were that we had we were kind of going to regularly. We went halfway down the street, turned the corner, and we're going up this alley to the bar. And all of a sudden, we heard sirens. And we turned around, and there's cop, cop, 
cop, cop, passed. And we're like, run. <laughs> run. <laughs> Dude, we made it to the other bar. N- nothing ever turned out of it, but I was like, the only thing I took home from that was for a guy that fights bulls, 2,000 pound animals with horns, that'll fuck you up. He sure dropped like a sack of shit. Yeah. Well, okay. I didn't even hit him that so hard. And he fucking went but right. They don't down. really fight bulls. They they, they got dodge. swords and like yeah, but they spear the most shit. for the most part. They're they're just dodging but, bulls. But think about the United States, right? Think about you're at a bar and some guy is going, "I'm a bull rider." Yeah, and you punch him in the face. Mm-hmm. What do you think's gonna happen? He's probably going to get up and whoop the shit out of you. He's probably not going to fall down, for one. No. And then he's going to fuck you up. Yeah. So, like, that's, that's what I was expecting. Yeah, because that's a lot different. You're riding a bull. You're getting you're getting fucked up riding the bull. I know, but, but if when you the bull fighters, they don't, they just, all they do is toro and dodge, you know? When you don't saying? analyze it, though, like you, like you think bullfighter, like, okay, these guys are brave. Like, they're considered brave. They're considered sure. tough. They're considered elite athletes in spain yeah so the whole time you're like but they don't even spear the balls do they? isn't the crowd the crowd spears the ball they, they spear them too they spear and they have a fucking they have a sword mm. that's how they they finish they, they, they kill finish the bull with yeah. the sword at the end mm. but the whole time you're like okay i mean these guys gotta have some sort of like fearless i'm tough i'm brave uh I've been hit by, you know what I mean? Like, you just think because they fight a bull, they should be tough. This dude was, and I might have found the only matador that was a giant bitch. I don't know. Possible. But from my perspective nowadays, when I hear somebody talk about a matador, I go, those guys are pussies. (laughs) Fucking pussies. (laughs) Oh, that was fun. I, dude, I, I don't think it was that same night, but there was another night I fucking, uh, I tried to catch the bus back to base. And uh, all the guys were like, we're not going to catch it. And I said, no, I'll hold it. And I took off running to the bus stop. Chased the bus down, got there, and the bus was gone by the time I got there. (laughs) Everybody went fucking, I I might have told this story already, but. Maybe. I ended up sleeping in the median. I don't know. In the fucking like two lane traffic road. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Cops woke me up the next morning in Spain and I was so scared. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was like full panic. <laughs> no English, no English military. <laughs> but they, yeah, they fucked. I got out of that one too. Dude, I, I've had some close calls over the years, man. Like, could have gotten in trouble, but I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. I've had some never, fucking good ones. Yeah, I haven't had a lot of that. And I've been I've been pretty good at staying out of trouble. For the I mean, aside from my my little falling asleep at the train track thing, but <laughs> uh so I wanna do our uh our weekly urban dictionary. Ooh. Okay, okay. So it's called a frosty snowman. I wanna I want you to guess. Don't let your fucking kids listen to this because it's Don't, not going to yeah. be good. Keep your kids away. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Frosty Snowman. Uh, yeah, go ahead and guess. I don't know let what me it is. take. Let me take a few stabs at what it could be. Okay, just one. You get one. Uh, first guess, beautiful. right? It's a beautiful sound. Would be like going down on a girl and using a carrot as like a toy. <laughs> That is your guess. I that's awful. Guess. Dude, I don't fucking. Okay. That's. Let me just read it. I don't think I have any idea what's coming here. You don't. I don't. Uh, I read the first okay. line and I guarantee you're not it's supposed, not you're not supposed to, to do that. I read the first line. There's a bunch. <clears throat> okay. okay. So the Frosty Snowman, a game where you get four of your friends, mostly guys or girls who can squirt. <laughs> Where you all jack off into a hat. Top hat is preferable. Uh, And the last person to come or the person who can't come into the hat has to wear the hat. (laughs) 
in resembling a melting snowman. <laughs> Me and the guys played Frosty the Snowman last night. It wasn't fun. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, if we play Frosty the Snowman, I sure as fuck am not losing. <laughs> I can make that shit happen quick Dude, if, we if were, I want. If we were playing Frosty the Snowman, I'd be the first motherfucker oh, down yeah. and I'd be like, who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Two seconds in, Colby's waiting to see who's going to lose. Fuck yeah, man. The one That's the one occasion... Where fucking praise be to the Lord above for blessing me <laughs> with the ability to <laughs> fuck like a rabbit. That's be all. That's the only, done. That's the only time that you get that fucking that that will work out for you. God damn. Well, I'm, dude, that might not be the only time, but it's one of the only times. <sighs> you imagine that? Imagine putting a hat. Oh, God. No, no. Well, there it is. Urban Dictionary Word of the Day. Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman. You and four of your friends, somebody got frosted. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And on that note, it is time for us to fucking kick rocks, unfortunately. Wish we could do this longer, but... Okay. Well... We can't. Before we go, I want to just go ahead and say, hey, thank you guys. This last like couple weeks, really, has this been last fan- week, even. it's been fantastic. Yeah, uh, great. Our our social media content's been getting out there. It's been circulating. You guys have been liking it. You've been sharing it. Yeah, uh, we've seen a huge uprise in in all of our content. Really, uh, making a huge progression upward. And we just want to say thank you. And and I want everyone to know that like. We're not, it's not just that we want to see it happen. It like we're, we're physically checking all the time and watching. Like if you like our videos, like we're seeing you yeah. like our videos. And it's honestly, it's sometimes it's, it's <clears throat> like lately, it's really hard to keep up with a lot of you because it has literally just been going off like crazy. And I try to keep up. He tries to keep up. It's just it's, it's hard. so it's so great though. Like, but yeah, I'm down Fuck, all day. I have a huge smile on my face because you guys actually are liking what we're doing. Yeah. and thank you, thank you for thank you for following us, for, for liking real. us. This is fantastic. This all started with just a random idea. Let's do it, and we started, and yeah, you guys are actually all about it. So we appreciate you. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the follow button. Subscribe on YouTube if you get a chance. Hit that fucking bell so you get notified whenever yeah. we fucking drop something new. That way, you know, you you know it's out there. And you, We're going to keep shorts coming. We're yeah. going to keep TikToks coming. Every day. We're going to keep dropping new content all the time. Stay with us. It's been a fun ride so far. It's We're nice. having a great time. I hope you fucking guys are us. having a yeah. better time. All we want to do is make y'all laugh. And that makes us fucking happy as fuck. Let's do this. Let's do it. Smash that smash button, bro. Smash smash button. All right. All well, right. yeah. Till next week. Indeed. Fuck you. Fuck you too. Okay, love you. Bye. Okay, love you. Bye. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go, dude. Pull chocks. Pull chocks.